guys. Um, so I was moving, um, helping a friend move one of her offices, and she ran across this really cool journal. She's an accountant, and um, they just happen to have this journal in the back room, and I, you know, love this paper. It's what we get in um, scrapping paper all the time, but, you know, I won't use it in this journal, so I thought, oh, it would be kind of fun to have this as, like, a shopping list or, you know, in a smaller sort of notebook. So I was going to make a quick notebook and I thought you guys would like to see it too. So first, and you can do this with any paper, you know, if you just run across any old paper and books or anything like this, you can just, um, it's quick and easy. Just uh, make a quick little uh, shopping journal for yourself or shopping notebook for yourself. Really just takes a few steps. So I just cut along the spine and opened it up and I'll just take out, I'll make a small one so I can see how I like it. And then the size I usually like for things is like um, about like three by five. So let me cut this down. I even like my cards three by five. So let me cut this down. it cuts off weird so that's my three mark right there okay, there we go. oh and isn't that cute look it cut off perfectly and since I left the spine in we're not gonna have to do a lot of work so that's kind of nice okay let me see if I can add this paper to the back what have I got? Have I got... Oh, it looks like it's five. Yeah, it is five. Okay, so I've got five, and now I've got to cut down three. Do I want to cut it off from that side? got some left over here but I think I'll do that for another booklet okay so I've got some that's attached to the spine and some that's loose leaf so um, I think what I'll do is remember a couple videos ago I um, attached uh, a six by six pad back together I think what I'll do is I'll use that technique on this. And let's see what paper I want to use. Um, maybe... Maybe the blue polka dot? Red? How about the yellow? Maybe the yellow. We'll do that. Okay, so we need front and back. So, 3 by 5 and a 3 by 5. The back might have to be 5. The back might have to be the striped one. Or we might be okay. Oh, we're okay. looks cute. Okay. Now let's 
just clip this puppy together. I want it to open on this side. Together, run a little bead of glue run a little bead of glue on the spine and that's what keeps it all together And it's really thin. You just want to do a really thin um, bead along the spine and then later go back and make sure that it's all together. And if it's not, then run another little bead of glue along the spine. Okay, and then maybe I'll just decorate the cover real quick a little bit. Do you have any good scraps? No good scraps. Those are cute, but they're a little obnoxious. How about one of these? Oh, we'll do this. Uh, green? Green or blue? Maybe green. Probably out of camera. Cut this out really fast. I'll cut the side one off. Yeah, this side. I know it looks like I'm putting a lot of glue on, but I'm not. I'm just rounding, I'm um, messing it around with the tip of the glue there and maybe I need a ribbon to soften it up a little bit. sort of rough and just dangling and then if I want I can always attach a pen to it or something. This is probably going to be a little shopping list. Should do a bow? Or maybe just a loop. Yeah, just a loop. bit under it. And then maybe maybe I have yeah, I have a little sequence. Gold one? Yeah, we'll do a gold one, a couple of gold ones. Two, three, four, and five. 
Okay, so I'm going to put one there. Um, two, three. are getting noisy. I hope you can't hear that. I don't know what they're doing. It sounds like they're opening up boxes. I guess UPS came. shopping notebook just from scrap paper so thanks for watching guys hope you have a good day